Alrighty then, we've all seen those YouTube videos about anime diff using the stable diffusion 1.5 models, right? Guess what? The anime diff custom node in ComfyUI just got an awesome new update, and now it supports the SDXL model. How cool is that? So we had the Hotshot XL FPS 16 version model before, and we talked about it in our previous video on Automatic 11.11, but honestly, that 16 FPS model didn't quite hit the mark, but fear not. There's a brand spanking new animation model from Animative Hugging Face for SDXL that's currently in beta. And you know what? I just couldn't resist giving it a go in its early stage. So let's dive in and see how this new Animative SDXL beta and the Hotshot XL fare with the workflow that I built in previous video, shall we? Alrighty then, let's get this show on the road. We fired up Comfy UI as we always do. Hit that bat file and boom, the command prompt window comes to life. And voila, look at that Comfy UI web interface right in front of us. Now, the first order of business is to download the Animate Diff SDXL beta model. And guess what? This is my first time trying out this beta version too. I haven't seen any other YouTube videos delving into it yet. So, we are exploring together today. No worries at all. The download process is a piece of cake, my friends. I'll make sure to provide the Hugging Face link in the video description so you can download it while enjoying this awesome video. Only if you have a high bandwidth, though. Alright, let's download the SDXL v10 beta.ckpt model. And hey, if you don't have the OG Stable Diffusion 1.5 model yet, Grab the SDV15 V2 while you're at it. Save those model files into the animate diff folder inside the Comfy UI custom nodes and make sure to put them in the models subfolder. As you can see, I already have the trusty SD1.5 V2 model right here in my setup. Once your download is complete, head on over to Comfy UI. Hit that refresh button like a pro. And voila! The SDXL V10 beta right there in front of you. Congratulations, that's your first steps. Now we are going to check out other nodes setting. Now go to checkpoint loader, select SDXL and VAE model, also animate the diff SDXL in beta schedule. In control net model, we will need to download SDXL line art model as well. Here I downloaded the diffuser's XL line art model. Remember, put your control net model file in here. Come back to Comfy UI, refresh, you will see the new control net model in the drop down menu. As you can see my testing on the screen, the line art preview image works. Let's clarify the process once again. Now for the checkpoint model, make sure it's the SDXL model specifically as the beta schedule is geared towards line art animate diff SDXL. In this case, since your checkpoint model includes VAE, you'll need to reconnect the node using the VAE checkpoint model. As you can see, we have options such as Line Art Hotshot XL, SDXL, and SD1.5 in the beta schedule. Within the Animate Diff group, don't forget to select Animate Diff SDXL in the beta schedule as well. For the model name, we'll be using the SDXL v10 beta.ckpt. As for the other new options, I haven't had a chance to explore them yet. Right now, the main focus is to ensure this current workflow functions smoothly with the new SDXL model. Yup, it's working! As you can see in the command prompt windows, the SDXL ckpt model file loaded, and here the case sampler loading now. Let's wait for the outcome result. So here's the first test with 10 image frames. Okay, looks cool. Space background as what I expected. And we keep the same range in 0.5 to 0.55 in control net strength. All right, let's move on to testing the Hotshot XL model using the Comfy UI Animate Diff custom node. We've covered the Hotshot XL model before, and you can find the animation model file on the Hugging Face page for downloading. To switch between these models, you'll need to configure the checkpoint loader and animate diff loader in Comfy UI. 
accordingly. I've tried enabling the Apply V2 Models option in the Animate Diff Loader, and it does perform better in my experience. And if I recall correctly, this is a new option introduced in the latest update of the Animate Diff Custom node. Exciting stuff. Once the generation process begins and you take a peek at the command prompt window, you'll notice the Hotshot XL model loading into the process. Now let's patiently wait for the outcome and see what we get. And there you have it folks, an animated video created using the Hotshot XL model. Um, truth be told, it's not that impressive. If you ask me to choose a winner between the two, I'd definitely go with the Animate Diff SDXL beta model. I haven't changed the text prompt in both the XL model tests and all the settings in control net and the checkpoint models remain the same. Uh, while there isn't much detail, the body movements are still flicker free. I believe this is what the animate diff with line art control net excels at, and it's not necessarily attributed to the hotshot model. So in terms of credit, I don't think hotshot deserves much recognition for that aspect. And now, let's talk about the good old SD 1.5 model with animated diff setting. Oh boy, the Pink Lady Dance animation using this model is just incredibly smooth. All the motions and everything, it's like butter. I'm really excited for the upcoming update of the animate diff SDXL model after this current beta version. Hopefully, they can improve the image frame resolution and optimize it even further for realism checkpoint models. So far, I truly believe that Animate Diff is a game changer in AI animation. It has opened up a whole new world of possibilities. One of the greatest things about this custom node is that we can create animation videos that are longer than just 6, 7, or 8 seconds. Isn't that awesome? Of course, to handle greater processing, you'll need a high-end graphics card. If you're interested in trying out this workflow and creating flicker-free AI animations, be sure to check it out in our Patreon community. Until then, my friends, I'll catch you in the next video. Happy animating and peace out.